Uh, a little chilly today, but not too bad. Kind of rainy and dreary. But I'm walking up here to look this dump. I'm just going to mostly surface hunt. And then I'm going to start transitioning into looking two dumps because the upload time on this new GoPro and my new computer is way faster so I can do more. Maybe hit start hitting another dump too. I'm going to go scoop it out after I leave here. But I'll get back if I see anything laying out down in here. It's been raining. Came up here, maybe get an easy find. It's rained on all of this. There's something plastic right there. I'll see if I can't find one or two things laying out. We'll see. This is what I was hoping for. I see a couple things. Oh man, I see something awesome. There's uranium glass. Oh, it's busted. That's a uranium glass salt and pepper shaker with just the base, like an art deco. And I'll probably have to take that, make something out of that. But wow. I'm glad I came up here. And I'll show you, look. Notice how I have two shovels there. One right there and one right there. I was going to go to another dump. And I thought I left my shovel here on this dump right there is where it was laying. I was tired when I left, took my rake and my saw, left my shovel. But I'm glad I left it because I'd be on another dump right now digging a hole. And I'm up here where I dug and it rained on it. And I'm getting surface funds. So you see it? It looks like maybe some kind of Cracker Jack charm or something. And it's a seahorse right there what the heck how awesome is that for a charm case that's so cool i'd say it's a cracker jack prize this is that plastic it's as hard as a rock and i find another little plastic thing towards the end of the hunt too but these will go in my charm case and i'll show it to you then after the next find i find another cool thing that's awesome though over the hill and I just got paid so I got a bunch of candy yesterday at Walmart so I'm gonna get home find some stuff get him eat some candy just mess around my kind of day that's kind of nice real that's color of some of them blue marbles I find so many of them I'm just kind of looking around today I already got that one nice find. I'll see if I can't get... See, this is dry down in here on the lip of this hill. See if I can't rake a few things out of here. Yeah, there's all kinds. I'm in a rust layer, and look at the cans. You can still read them, and that's crazy for a can with iron in it. And it's just because it's so well-drained. And I knew I was going to find something cool. Look, I think that's one of these Yardley, maybe... Yeah, Yardley London with the cap. It's a perfume and that, man, look at that cap. That's a beautiful font. That's a beautiful font. I like that. Wow. Because of the cap. Look at, jeez. Well, look at that. With just a light cleaning. Look at that cool cap. And that's that Yardley London. Let me see. That's cool for free. Yeah, there's another cool little bottle out of there with the cap. Probably another perfume. No marbles yet. That's pretty nice, huh? Yeah, look at that. Parkersburg, West Virginia, Frosty. I haven't found many of this one. Look at that. That's kind of nice, huh? See this rust layer I'm in? It's not that thick. I'm down towards the edge of the trash pile. But look at just the shape of that. It's just mint condition, that mason lid. Take that for another drawer. That's a good piece. Yeah, look at that. That's another nice find. I'll just keep this and use it. It's a hot plate, but it's like a porcelain one. Look at that. It's probably most likely, I would say, to set down. To put something hot on look it's got a big flower on it that's you know it's probably at the newest 1960 probably from the 40s or 50s that's pretty stinking nice yep 
Well, that's a pretty cool piece of milk glass. I would say this is something like a hot plate to set something hot down on. But you can see it. That's perfect and that's kind of cool. Later. Well, I'm getting down to some pretty... That thing is cool. But look at this. Payton City Pottery. That would be Payton City, West Virginia. B54. But look, it's like a splatter design. Huh. Jackson Pollock plate. Hey. Eh. A nice jar could come out of here. This is okay. Them are pretty common, but I got another one of them perfect lids. A good jar could come out, hopefully. Well, all the metal items will be good in that orange layer, that iron layer. Right here, something that's browned. It looks like some kind of button. Probably have to clean it up when we get home. You know, that's pretty ornate, huh? It's pretty old, too. See, here's that first button. See how ornate that is? That's pretty old. A few minutes later, I don't know if that's a button or not. Well, four or five rakes later. There's something else, and you can see on that, the back's got, that's like two-piece, it's a button. That's another beauty. It's like a, it's a two-piece with like, it looks like a non-brass backing, but the shank's still there. That's nice. You know, I thought that was going to have something on the inside of that, but it doesn't in the center there, like a face or something. But that's kind of a cool old button. Well, I thought for sure that was silver. It come right out of here. Look at it. I don't see any stamps on it. IS and Rogers Brothers. There's no, like, sterling or nothing, so I think it's plate. It sure looks good. It's in good shape coming out of that rust layer. Well, look what just popped out of that rust layer, plain as day. A blue, cobalt blue and white swirl. All right, folks. Is it nice? It is. Oh, man. Now one more. Oh, yes. That's not a master. What is this? Um, Cairo. Novelty Company, Heat and Agate, um, Jackson Marble Company. It could be a lot of things, but this is nice. This is what I'm looking for. All right. All right. Well, I've found these before, these kind cobalt blue with the milky white swirl. That's nice, huh, for free? Got on marbles. They'll probably all be different in there. You know, on a different throwaway. There's crockery in there, too. Later. Pretty nice looking ACL bottle popped right out of that. It's Werner's ginger ale. Looks pretty nice. Mm, not bad. That'll all clean up. It's all there. Looks like from the 40s. Note, Werner's flavor aged four years in wood. Werner's ginger ale. Pretty cool, huh? See, that'll all that rust staining will come right off. That's a pretty decent bottle. It stinks this is broke. Look at all the broken crocs coming out of here. Hainer lockbox 290 Dayton High. Break there. It's an old break. And the handles broke off. Too bad on that. It's been worth like a hundred bucks. Yeah, look there. Found the other piece of that. Probably take it and glue it. Somebody would want that for five bucks. Well, I got another one, so I'm on marbles down here, too. And I can't tell if that's red on that green or it's rust. I think it's rust, but that surely looks like it's going to fluoresce. See, it's, that is rust. It's a solid color. That looks like uranium glass to me. Du big time. Well, here's that marble. Really looks like it would fluoresce, but it doesn't. But look at that panel mark. I'd say that's a panel and it's got a two on it. What? It looks like a two to me. That is odd. And I I don't know for sure, but it looks panelish to me. I, I don't know. But that is cool. I'll put that right in the frame like that. Good one. Good one. I can take. I'm back on the marbles. And it's really not. Eh. About three foot under the ground, so that's not much to take off, and I'll go back in here. There's gonna be stuff. And I found the base of the dump. 
about right here so I can follow the bait. I'll get back, I'll come back here tomorrow. So I left a little bit after there I was digging to walk when I got tired so I could maybe make some more funds and I see something else here. You see it? That's probably a Cracker Jack prize and it's a battleship. And I think it's all, yeah, it looks all there, see? It's all there. It's a little battleship, look. That's so cool, it'll look so good in the frame. Another little plastic piece for a frame. Now this is like rock hard plastic too. And it's just a little boat probably come in. I think it says something right there. Something USA. L. See it? L I D U maybe? But see, it's got that, it's like the push on the floor. That's so cool. All right, well, that looks nice in there, that yellow and that black with this stuff. It looks good, and I put the battleship right up there. By, I moved the Mr. Peanut spoon thing up, but it's a lot of stuff. I'm getting a pretty nice collection of little smalls. Love the seahorse. Later. All right, I'm still walking around a little bit looking, and I see a find here. See it? That's a pocket watch. See there's the top. I'll take it and clean it up. I find these all the time. That's a ball. Later. There he is. I just got back from the dump and I brought my buddy up a peanut. You want the peanut? I knew you'd have it. Look here, folks. There's my little buddy man. He's back in there. It's starting to warm up a little bit. And the sun's coming out, so he's going to eat. I'm going to work on the video and take him out. Look there. He's getting his peanut. That's what that old boy likes. Well, i got a new spot opened up. And there's marbles in it. Crockery. And it's hard to tell what's going to come out of there. The f further down in there I go. So tomorrow I'll go back there. Start right in on it. It'll be dried out completely by then. Now, yeah, Squirrel Man's been outside running all over the place, and look at him. I got him some real expensive single apples, and look at him. He's liking that. Somebody likes that apple. <laughs> He's not spoiled, is he? He has had macadamia nuts, pecans, walnuts, um, pine nuts blueberries and now he's having apple and he's ate grass and all kinds of roots outside somebody is hungry later folks